Hey guys, okay, so for the longest time I've been asked about uh, vocal tips and vocal warm ups and how to breathe correctly. I used to be a vocal coach for about four or five years before I got into the recording business, if you will. <laughs> I do have a knack for helping singers uh, reach their full potential. I'm very passionate about the voice and the science of the voice, and so I'm going to teach you guys. You singers <laughs> a few tips and tricks things that I do things that help me and uh, so yeah here we go lesson one breathing a lot of times people will tell you to breathe from the diaphragm and the problem that I, I see is that a lot of people don't know what that means so right now just take a breath in breathe in and breathe out when you breathe in if your shoulders raise and your chest raises, rises, that's wrong. So I'm gonna turn around. I'm kneeling. When I breathe in, everything sits from below my chest down. Everything fills up my back everywhere. Now if I show you, don't mind my stomach, I just ate. <laughs> when I breathe in, I keep my shoulders down and posture straight. Doesn't mean your shoulders are back. It doesn't mean that your shoulders are back this way. You're just in a nice, comfortable position, okay? Your chest is straight forward. And when you breathe in, you keep your chest down, your chest down and your shoulders down. And this is what should happen. Do you see that? Do you see? My stomach expands. It's almost kind of like you're letting breath drop in. Just think of your stomach as like an accordion. And when you open the accordion, that's you inhaling. Everything kind of fills up with air. And then as you compress it, that's the nose, okay? Now after you practice that, you wanna practice that for a long time. Here are some exercises that help. So you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna tighten your stomach. You're not gonna hold your breath, but you're gonna tighten your stomach. Because right now, my stomach is tight, all here. When you tighten your stomach, you're securing that air for that bar, that phrase, or for however long you can uh, keep that air coming out consistently. Here it goes. You take a breath in, tighten, and let it out on a s I say squeeze your butt cheeks because when you get to that last, you can't do it anymore. You need to take a breath. If you squeeze your butt cheeks, the remainder of the air will come out. I know it sounds gross, but I promise you it works because a lot of your breathing comes not only from your diaphragm, your stomach area, but from your back, your lower back. Believe you me, your lower back helps a lot in supporting a note. Without you, my day. Okay, for those who gig a lot, who tour a lot, it's very, very important. And even you YouTube singers, the ones that are making videos all the time of just singing and I'm pretty sure you do more than one one take I know I do for to get my sound right I do about two or three takes sometimes just to make sure that every everything is heard make sure you see an ENT at least once or twice a year at least once a year if you don't know what an ENT is I shake my head at you you need to go see a doctor and make sure you have a thorough checkup at least once a year don't wait until something hurts before you go to the doctor okay I've had so many students come to me and I know right off the bat there's something wrong and I've sent them to the ENT and they come back and I kid you not they have nodules and they have to be put on vocal rest for a year it's happened three times that I can remember and another time I had a, a student that had bronchitis and didn't even know I knew but she did not getting a checkup really helps to prevent a lot of problems there's no hurt in that. When I used to teach, the, the first two months was just breathing. A lot of the singers that I taught didn't like that because they just wanted to sing, but you can't sing if you don't know how to breathe, right? Another exercise that you can do, and you have to be careful with this because you don't want to do it too much because you can get really dizzy. Run in place for 10 seconds as fast as you can. Run, 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 run. Stop. Take three big breaths in, out, and on the fourth breath, 
You're gonna breathe in, you're gonna hold it, you're gonna tighten, and you're gonna let it out on a for 10 seconds. And when you let it out on a the goal is to keep that breath and spin it fast. And when I say spin it fast, what I mean is don't let it out fast, but you have to have the strength behind the air that you're letting out. The strength comes from you tightening your stomach and only releasing the air as you need it. And that will help you to hold out notes longer, better control, things of that nature. Guys, do it no more than five times, okay? Because you're gonna get you're gonna get very dizzy. Trust me. Those are great exercises to do to expand everything. You want to feel as open as possible. It's almost kind of yoga-ish. All right, yoga is really good too for singers. But you need to be able to connect with your breath and understand and listen to your body. Focus on that mostly. Once you grasp the breathing and understanding what it means to take in that air and secure that air and only release it as you need it, I mean, you're golden. You could pretty much do anything. That is if you can sing. <laughs> if you can't sing, I don't know. If you can't sing, there's more to, to it than just that. Here's a little piece of paper. I'm gonna show you the piece of paper trick. Now with what I just taught you, you're gonna apply the same thing, but you're gonna apply it on this paper. Okay. So the goal is to try and keep the paper up as long as you possibly can and I'll give Here's a piece of paper <laughs> and the breath to drop in. The goal is to keep the paper up as long as possible. So when you when you take that breath in and you exhale it, first of all, you're gonna exhale it on a <laughs> The faster you spin that breath, the more, more control behind that breath, the longer that this stays up, okay? And you wanna kind of think about this as like a like an arrow going right through the middle. Try to shoot that air like it's like an arrow going right through the middle, right through the wall. I learned this trick from Mark Goff. Local coach didn't start. He taught Christina Aguilera and trained O-Town. Anybody you can think of, he pretty much any pop star from the 90s. He's amazing, an amazing teacher. I'll tell you more about him at the end. <laughs> wasn't as long as I'd like it to be, but um, you get the point. The way to keep it up, it's not about um, the amount of air th that you apply on the paper, it's about the direction of where the air is going that keeps it up there. And you'll see what I mean when you start to, to, to do the exercise. It's important that the air is straight, it's coming out straight, okay? So you wanna make sure that you try and you keep the air, keep it in a straight direction, guarantee the paper will stay up. It's not about how hard you breathe and put, you have to make sure that there's control and there's direction. Pretty much, that's how you breathe. That is that is the correct way to sing and get through a song is through the control and through the direction of where your breath is going, not where the note is going. It's all about breathing. It has nothing to do with the style that you're singing. It has nothing to do with that. It's all about breathing. Singing is based on simply air <laughs> and the control of that air. The only way that you're gonna build that capacity is to exercise that. You'll never really get to your full potential if you don't focus on breath support. You just will never get to, no matter how loud you sing, how high you sing, if you don't have breath behind that, if you don't have that structure there, you'll never get to that point. You just never will. And that's scientifically. This is not me being negative. You just never will. In saying this, people who have potential and have the natural gift of singing, because you're just given that gift, a voice. Most singers are given that gift. Um, it's very hard. You can teach somebody to sing, but you can't teach somebody tone. Some people, it's just all about their tone. It's all about that thing that you, it's just that it thing. It is important that you hone your craft, that you know what you're doing so that you can get better. That gift will be stripped away from you if you don't exercise it and if you don't take care of it. If you just abuse it, you only have one voice. And once that's gone, that's, that's what it is. It's gone. You can't get a replacement. 
So it's very, very important. It's like an athlete. An athlete trains and they work out, even professionals, they train, the NBA, NFL, they train before they go out and they play. They can't just go play. Even if they have the skill for it, they just can't get up and go. They have to make sure that they're warmed up. They challenge themselves every year, every month, every day, every minute. Your body's changing as you get older. Your, your voice is gonna go through different mountains and peaks and valleys, and it'll be a lot stronger, a whole lot stronger, if you focus on working it, working it out. <laughs> oh God, now I gotta edit all this shit.